What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog, back with another video. And as you guys know, yesterday was cut-down day for the Cleveland Browns, where they cut their roster down to the final 53-man roster. And then today was officially waiver claim day slash practice squad day as they went out on waivers and claimed players, and then they filled out their practice squad. And, of course, uh, this year you were allowed to have 16 players on your practice squad. Well, the Browns only signed 14. So my guess is the two players that they waived today to sign the two guys that they claimed are most likely, if they clear waivers, going to end up on the practice squad. So we'll see how that goes. Now, as for the two players that we claimed off of waivers, the Browns claimed defensive end Joe Jackson from the Dallas Cowboys. Of course, he went to college at the U. And we also claimed defensive tackle Vincent Taylor from the Buffalo Bills. Now, in order to bring them in, we waived defensive tackle Eli Anku and tight end Farrell Brown. So that solves our tight end situation. At least for now, because, you know, we're still waiting to see what happens with David Njoku because there's been a buzz that we might be trading him. I don't know. Now, uh, in terms of the practice squad, of course, we signed 14 players and 13 of them were with the Browns during training camp. Of course, Garrett Gilbert, we all figured he'd be back. Dontrell Hilliard, Benny LeMay, Johnny Stanton. So Stefanski and Andrew Barry's first official signing with the Browns returns on the practice squad. Wide receiver Jamarcus Bradley, Taewon Taylor, Brady Iello, Michael Dunn, linebacker uh, Montreal Meander. I think he can play safety as well. Cornerback A.J. Green, that's a big one. I honestly did not think he was going to make it to our practice squad, but he did. Uh, Robert Jackson, safeties Elijah Benton and Javante Moffitt, and the one guy that wasn't with us during training camp, Kicker, Cody Parkey. Oh, my God. We really brought Cody Parkey back. Oh, my God. I still have not forgotten what that dude did a couple years ago when we played Miami. That dude legit stunk. He missed, like, three kicks. We would have won that game if he nailed them, but no. He's he was a freaking bum. Trash. And then, of course, wasn't he the one that did the double doink? <laughs> <laughs> we got double doink. Oh, my God. It, it literally just hit me, bro. I hope he never sees the field in a regular game. But you know what this tells me? Austin Seibert better be on his best behavior. He better not suck. <laughs> because let me tell you, if you get booted for Cody freaking Parky, oh, you must really suck if that has to happen. Oh, my God. But, uh... We'll see what happens. Um, I doubt the Browns are done making moves this week. Uh, I have heard a buzz that we could be putting Mac Wilson on IR, so that would open up a roster spot. We'll see what we do with that. But uh, I've also heard maybe Kevin Johnson going on IR too. But, uh, yeah. And for those who didn't know, if you put a player on IR after, like, what, 4 p.m. today, they can come back after, like, 21 days. So that makes a lot of sense. Because that would mean Mac Wilson would be back, I believe, by week three or four. So, makes sense. Now, um, we'll see what happens. But if we trade in Joku, if we, you know, sign somebody that's sort of, you know, big in terms of their name, you know, like Todd Davis, for instance, I will be back to uh, make a video about that. But in other words, I mean, there's not really much else to talk about. And if you're wondering about the stats for Taylor and Jackson, well, there's not really much there. I mean, Vincent Taylor in his career uh, played in 24 games, zero starts, two passes defended, two sacks, 51 combined tackles, 32 solo, 19 assists, five tackles for loss, and three QB hits. While Joe Jackson, on the other hand, I believe he is entering his second season, he doesn't have much in terms of stats either. Five games, one pass defended, four combined tackles, two solo, two assists, and one QB hit. So, I mean, we got good depth pieces, but other than that, I mean, it's whatever. So, uh, we'll see what happens.
But uh, I'm probably going to go live uh, either tonight or tomorrow to really go through the 53-man roster and, you know, talk about it. But, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Uh, of course, as always, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and, of course, hit that bell because uh, we're officially one week away from football, baby. Let's freaking go. So I'm Crazy Dog 99. Let's go Browns. And I'm out.